Melissa Martin and Denise Mintz were walking their dogs near a well-known pet walking site in Wilmington. The dogs dipped into a nearby pond as they roamed around. Afterward the dogs started experiencing seizures, and their condition worsened. They died a short time later. Melissa Martin and Denise Mintz had anticipated the day would be full of fun as they took their dogs they had planned well for the day, and their two dogs, Izzy, and Abby accompanied by Harpo, their mixed doodle were headed for a great Thursday night. And with temperatures soaring, the dogs would have an excellent night cooling in a nearby pond. They let the dogs swim in the pond, not knowing the danger that loomed. Within a short duration, the dogs started experiencing health problems. Abby suffered a seizure soon after exiting the pond. Martin and Mintz rushed the dog to the hospital immediately, CNN reports. On reaching the hospital, Izzy and Harpo began to experience seizures too. The vets were unable to save the dogs, and on Friday night, the sad news reached Martin and Mintz. Their dogs were all dead. Martin said she failed to notice the danger posed by the algae before letting the dogs dip into the pond. Vets told her that what resembled flower debris were parts of cyanobacteria, the cause of death for their dogs. These water bodies present favorable conditions for the growth of algae. It's impossible to treat this condition in dogs, and if exposed to algae, dogs usually die. Blue Cross for Pets, an animal charity, says water bodies with blue-green algae are a no-go zone for dogs as this bacteria can kill very fast. People should keep off water bodies with a suspicious smell. A map with up-to-date information on all places where algae blooms are found is available courtesy of North Carolina Department of Environmental Quality. Blog page, BarkPooch.com Facebook fan page, Twitter and Instagram, I love my dogs. We hope you liked the video. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates.